Our best tips on how to potty train a Labrador puppy. Labrador Retrievers, also known as Labs, are renowned for being the perfect combination of friendly and active, making them a beloved choice for families seeking a new pet. These lovable dogs are highly devoted to their owners and enjoy showing affection and receiving it. They are also remarkably intelligent and thrive when participating in various family activities. Not only does their enthusiasm make them great companions, but it also enables them to be a hard-working breed. Fortunately, potty training your Labrador can be a straightforward process with the right guidance and approach. This video will equip you with all the tools you need to successfully train your furry friend, ensuring many happy years together. So let's dive in and set your Labrador on the path to potty training success. Step number one, establish a routine. Ah, potty training, the ultimate test of patience and persistence for any new pet owner. But fear not, my friend, establishing a routine is the key to success. After all, dogs are creatures of habit. They thrive on routine. They live for it, like a cat lives for a cardboard box. You should start potty training your lab puppy the first day you bring them home. Puppies usually leave their mother at eight weeks old but you should start on day one no matter their age. Puppies tend to live for a set of constants, playing, eating, drinking, peeing, pooping, and sleeping. It's like they're on a never-ending loop. To figure out their natural schedule, you'll need to become a puppy stalker. Observe their every move like a detective on the case. Here's a pro tip. Puppies will generally need to take a bathroom break within 15 to 20 minutes after eating or drinking, after playing, and right after waking up from a nap. So basically, you'll be taking them out every five minutes. Just kidding, kind of. To make things easier, it's important to establish a consistent feeding schedule and set regular times for potty breaks. Think of it as a puppy's daily planner, breakfast at 7 a.m., playtime at 10 a.m., potty break at 10.15 a.m., nap time at 10.30 a.m. Because let's face it, puppies need lots of naps. Obviously, as they get older, the time between potty breaks will increase. By three months of age, they can go a couple of hours, and by six months, more like five. By sticking to a routine, you'll be one step closer to potty training success. And who knows? Maybe your furry friend will even surprise you by sticking to his schedule better than you do. Step number two, choose a designated potty area. This is a step that should be done as soon as you bring your pup home. It's very important to choose a spot in your yard that you're not too concerned about getting dirty or ruined. Seeing your beautiful green lawn develop big yellow patches while your flowers wilt away is no fun. It is best to make the area you want your lab to do its business in look different from the rest of your yard so they'll learn to recognize it. A good idea is to fence off an area and add something like bark chippings. Most dogs prefer a potty on natural surfaces instead of paving or concrete. By teaching your Labrador to go in one spot, you'll save yourself time and frustration in the long run. Additionally, using a command such as go potty or do your business when taking your puppy to the designated area can help. This is because associating a command with going potty, they will learn to understand what's expected of them in the future, wherever you use it. This is particularly handy when the weather outside is terrible and you just want them to go and come back not roam around for half an hour searching for the perfect pee spot. With consistency and patience, your Labrador will soon be well on their way to mastering the art of potty training. Step number three, use positive reinforcement. Just like with any type of training, positive reinforcement is a crucial factor in the potty training process. Instead of punishing your Labrador puppy for mistakes, it's essential to reward them every time they go potty in the designated area. You can use treats, praise, or a combination of both as a reward. You also need to be both immediate and consistent with your rewards to ensure that your Labrador puppy properly associates going potty in the designated area, as a good thing to do. This type of training reinforces a positive relationship between you and your puppy, which can strengthen the bond of trust between you. Step number four, watch for signs. To successfully housebreak your Labrador, it's important to follow a rule that requires constant supervision when your puppy is out of their crate. This is because if you're not watching them carefully, they may have accidents that you're unaware of which cannot be corrected later on. To avoid this, keep an eye out for signs that your puppy needs to go, such as sniffing around, circling, pacing, and raising their tail. If you notice these behaviors, act quickly and take them to their designated potty area without calling them or leading them. Remember, timing is crucial as they may eliminate soon after exhibiting these behaviors. In case your puppy has an accident indoors, don't punish them, but instead clean up the mess and be more vigilant in the future. If you are interested in dog training and want to learn more about other breeds, check out some of our playlists. It will make our day if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss new videos and can learn more about dogs. Step number five, use a crate. When your little furry friend is too young to wander around outside on their own, a crate can be a lifesaver for training your Labrador. You see, dogs have an innate aversion to soiling their own bed, which makes the crate an ideal tool for preventing accidents. But hold on, before you start picturing a sad puppy locked up in a tiny cell, remember to choose a crate that's spacious enough for your little rascal to stand, turn around and nap in comfort. And most importantly, never use the crate as a punishment. 
That would be like sending your pooch to doggy jail for no reason. Just make sure to give your Labrador plenty of opportunities to do their business when they're out of their crate, and you'll have a well-trained furry companion in no time. Step number six, be patient and persistent. Labradors are known for their cleverness and positive response to reward-based training. However, they can also be quite mischievous, which means that potty training them might require some extra patience on your part. It's important to keep in mind that this process takes time, so it's essential to stick to your routine and be consistent with your commands and rewards. In case your furry friend has an accident indoors, resist the urge to lose your temper or scold them. Instead, continue using positive reinforcement techniques and remain patient as they learn. Remember that persistence is key to successful potty training your Labrador. With time and your unwavering dedication, your furry companion will soon get the hang of it. Step 7. Gradually Increase Freedom As your Labrador gets better at going to the bathroom in the right place, you can give them more freedom. One good way to do this is the open door method, which means training your dog to go to the door when they need to go outside. To do this, take your puppy to the door each time before you take them outside to go potty. Set them down and wait a moment before opening the door to let them out. Repeat this every time you take them out. When it's time to let your dog out, take them to the door and have them walk outside on their own after you open the door. As your Labrador gets used to going to the door, start using the go potty command and ask them if that's what they need. They should be able to go to the door on their own when you use the command. When your dog goes potty outside, praise them quietly, give them a treat, and then let them go back to what they were doing before. This method is helpful because your Labrador will eventually learn to tell you when they need to go outside, which saves time and hassle in the future. Step number eight, be consistent with training. By now, you will have realized that house training can be a dreaded task for new dog owners. But fear not, for this is a challenge that every dog owner must face head on. As a proud parent of a cute little Labrador, your role in their development is critical. With your time and effort invested in teaching them proper routines and good behavior, you'll reap the rewards in the long run. Now, while potty training might be a major aspect of ensuring your puppy is easy to live with, don't forget to keep up with obedience, socialization, and exercise. All the ingredients for a happy, well-behaved pup. You must also remember that training doesn't end the first time they do things the way you want. Throughout their lives, you need to stick to positive reinforcement, patience, and consistency in all aspects of training. You'll soon have a loyal and obedient companion that's the envy of all the other dog owners. What's your favorite tip for potty training Labradors? Let us know in the comments and share your thoughts with other enthusiasts. Step number 9. Seek professional help if needed. Labs are people pleasers and highly intelligent, making them very trainable. Yet, they do have lots of energy which can lead them to get bored easily if you don't keep them engaged. Generally, it's best to keep training sessions short. However, if you have a particularly belligerent pup or have adopted an older untrained Labrador, this can become exhausting, making all the time you spend with them feel like a chore. If you find yourself struggling with potty training or any other aspect of Labrador training, seeking professional help is always a viable option. A professional dog trainer can help you pinpoint the underlying issues and develop a tailored training program to address them. It's always better to seek help early on rather than let bad habits develop. Step number 10. Maintain good hygiene A crucial aspect of the training process is maintaining excellent hygiene to ensure your home remains clean and your pup understands where they should and shouldn't go. Cleaning up accidents is no fun, but it's necessary to keep your home fresh and avoid any odors that may be off-putting to you and your pup. That's why it's vital to use pet-safe cleaning products that won't harm your furry friend if they come into contact with them. After all, Labradors are curious creatures that will often lick anything in sight. If you're looking for a natural and effective way to discourage your dog from going potty indoors, consider using a vinegar and water solution. Simply mix three parts vinegar and one part water, and then spray it on the floor to create a scent that will deter your pup from sniffing around for a place to go. It's a simple yet powerful way to help your Labrador understand where they should be doing their business. Finally, it's essential to regularly clean the designated potty area to prevent any unpleasant odors from building up. This will not only keep your home smelling fresh, but it will also maintain a clean and healthy environment for your furry friend. Final Summary So, potty training a Labrador is no piece of cake, but with some effort early on and a good sense of humor, it can be a rewarding experience for both you and your furry friend. To successfully potty train your Labrador, it's important to establish a routine and designate a specific area for them to go. Positive reinforcement is needed too, as is keeping an eye out for signs that your dog needs to go. What's more, using a crate can also be helpful and being patient while gradually increasing your dog's freedom will help them learn. Consistency and patience are key, and seeking professional help if needed can be beneficial. Finally, maintaining good hygiene is important for both you and your furry companion. With all these tips taken into account, you'll have a well-trained and happy Labrador in no time.